what's going on everybody? It's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a vlog. Today is Thursday, June 26th, and we are going to Mammoth. I just got new graphics for my bike. And, and, they're so pretty and shiny. Cut to. But yeah, just got the bike, got everything loaded up, and we're about to drive the four, I think it's four hours, five hours north to Mammoth and go race tomorrow. That's boring as I work, and tonight I will be at the track, so let's get to it. I'm just going to make two more stops. I had to get fuel for the truck, fuel for the bike, and fuel for me. And if it all goes to plan, it's 8 o'clock now. I should be getting there right around midnight. If I remember right. I think it's a four hour drive. Yeah, I think I'm right. Yeah, getting right around midnight. The gates open at 5 a.m. 5. Mario went and rode the track today for practice. He was there. And he described it as stupid. I didn't even put that word in. I asked, how was the track? He replied with one word, and that word was stupid. He said he got it down pretty good. He sounded like they built up the roller section, or the whoop section, whatever you want to call it. They built that up, and he couldn't jump them. So we'll see if I can. He said only one person he knew that was jumping it. So we'll see if I could jump it. it. From the videos I looked, definitely tougher than it did last year. So who knows? I'm going to get all of maybe like that four laps of practice and then go straight into my two motos. Last year I raced on Sunday and we raced 450C. This year, racing Friday, and, we're, and I'm racing 25 plus. A, B, and C. Basically, it's 25 plus open. And we'll see how I do. The only good thing about it is last year there was three divisions of 450 DC. So we had to essentially qualify into a main event. You had to go through a heat race. If you didn't make it through the heat race, you had to go to an LCQ or a semi. If you didn't make, through, make it through that, that was it. You were done. And that's pretty much where I finished. I finished, I think, like, 24th and 13th or something stupid like that. So, And didn't make it to the main. This year, for 25+, plus, it's not. It's a two-moto format for this, for my class, at least, this year. Other classes have more injuries and stuff like that. So, 25+, plus has two motos. So, we'll see how well I do. I get two shots on my average of both of them. That's where I'm going to finish. It's like every other race we go to. That's how it is this time. And I'm looking forward to it because I mean, there's, you know, there's that one gate, but there's some fast guys on that gate too. We'll see what happens, I guess. Because I have no idea. I have, I have some good confidence in myself. I'm going to have to go make some few rounds in the morning talk to some few people, get a couple things set up for my bike. But I got I got a little bit of confidence. I know I know I will finish last. That's my only goal today or this weekend is to not finish last. Not crash and not finish last. Those are the only two things I want to do. Everything else, if I do anything else, if I get anywhere in the top if I get a top ten, that's way beyond my any expectations I have right now, so I'd love to have that, but <laughs> what are the odds, right? <laughs> All right, well, I guess nothing left to do but uh, drive for a while. <laughs> well, we made it right on time. Like I said, <laughs> it's uh, 12 14 right now, and we're in line. Just Actually, we were pretty much in the middle. Like, last year, we were maybe a couple hundred yards that way. 
and right now I'm right where it starts to turn, so nowhere near the front of the line by any means. So we're going to hang out here till about 5 o'clock and then head on in, I guess. Pretty easy drive, just kind of sailed on at, you know, however long, so see you in the morning, I guess. Good morning. I mean, if you could call it morning. It's just before five. The truck's over there. I guess you know. The line should start moving pretty soon here. This truck is not the best thing to sleep in. I don't know why I do it sometimes. Or why I don't bring more stuff to sleep with. Like another blanket would have been nice because it's got cold. <laughs> Like, when I got here at midnight, it wasn't bad. But it's like 42 degrees out. And I got cold. <laughs> I turned the truck on so I could get the heater going here soon. <laughs> but yeah, we should start moving here pretty soon. And <sighs> Hey, get a van. It would have been nice to have a van to sleep in. But, you know. Like, that's ever going to happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if the line starts moving here soon. We're moving! So yeah, guys, I can like... That's in the middle. Kind of middle. Middle middle, I don't know. Bunch of cars though. So many trucks. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting narrow! It's getting narrow. <laughs> oh, someone's asleep. Someone's asleep. Or they didn't come get their car because they're going around them. That's crazy. It's always like this. And we're on the lorry. We're moving. We're driving in. It's a long drive back here too. So now, if we didn't make it in the gate there, we'd have to park back there and ride in to go race. Seriously, that's that's what I well, that's what I've heard. I don't know about that, but I probably would have tried to find like Brian or the Wagemans to kind of at least put the bike next to, you so I don't have to like, ride all the way back here. That would have been the other option is, is we didn't get in the gate, but we are. So that's all that matters. And now we're gonna drive the, it seems like forever to go back here. And uh, we'll see where we park, cause I have no idea. But it is 5.21. Practice starts at seven. I still have to sign in and get my transponder. But we are well on the way and we should be doing just fine, so. Let's see where we park, because that's another, that's a whole other thing there, is finding out where they're going to put us. Last year, they squeezed us in in the far right, so let's see, since I'm earlier this time, we'll see where we get to park today, so let's find out. And there's even still snow on the mountains. It's like almost, Jul uh, it is literally almost July. July is on Monday, and there's still snow on the mountains. Down this dirt road. Like I said, we go way the heck back here to get some track. And we're parked. It's cold. It's like 43 degrees, something like that. The sun's out, but it's not hitting us yet. And I'm wearing shorts, and it's cold. <laughs> I don't know if I like the spot I'm at. I know, like, I have much of a choice to park here. It is kind of telling me where to go. But I'm like on a hill. There's no one to my right though. So I mean there's that. But I'm like at like a 25 degree angle incline. So meaning there's no way in hell I'm going to get my bike back in the truck <laughs> later on. I'm just not uh, pushing it. I have to ride it up or back down the hill a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to 
get my easy up out, push this shit as far out as I can, and then kind of slowly back the truck down a little bit just so I can get a little more level. So you know, not everything's on a hill, but we're here. That's all that matters. I can see the start hill from here. I can see the starting gate area. That's the finish line over there. So, I mean, a little better than last year for sure as far as walking and, and where we're parked because I don't have to walk nearly as far. Like last year, I would walk all the way around the hill or up the hill on the other side to see anything. So now I could sit here and kind of watch what's going on and probably maybe hear the announcer saying what race is up and that kind of thing. So I should be okay as far as that goes, um, being able to keep track of what's going on where. It's got to be like 5.30-ish. So I just got to go get my transponder. Yeah, so I just got to unload, get my transponder, and wait for practice. Amateur Nationals. One of the biggest races on the West Coast all year, besides like maybe the Cal Classic, one of the bigger races on the schedule. Definitely one of the bigger races I I will ever attend, probably. And that's where we are. All right, let's see if I can load and not freeze. <laughs> I was out there going, <laughs> shivering. The bike looks good, though. Well, the sun it finally started to come out. I'm here at breakfast. But, got my trans water. I got the practice schedule and the race schedule. I have practice number two at like 7.20, which is the only cool thing about here is they have it scheduled per time. It's from 7.20 to whatever. That's my practice. And I'm race number seven on the day, right after open pro practice, so. Not too bad, kind of in the middle. Yeah, which I'm glad about, so that should be nice. We'll see how I do. There's two guys at the sign up that was next to me. One guy's next to me, he's like, Plus, and he's like, yeah, and then uh, 450 A. I'm like, I was like, oh no, or, or, or 450 Pro or something. She's like, oh no, that's tomorrow. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I look over, I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm gonna win. I know that for sure. I, I already knew I was gonna win. We're going for making it on the track, not crashing, and not finishing last. <laughs> that's the goal. I'm gonna eat, finish eating breakfast. And I guess get suited up and uh, go race or practice. I guess here goes nothing. I guess I'm I'm running solo today. So Mario's in town. He's here. He's just in town. He's racing tomorrow. He was here yesterday. Dane is back home. He had to work today. So gonna solo it, which should be okay. I don't need to set my whole shot device. I don't need to sweep the gate. Is a sweep the gate for us? It's a concrete start. So. Should be okay there. I guess, uh, here goes nothing. <laughs>
practice. Watched a little bit. No wonder I felt like I was sliding around the entire time. When you go up in elevation, pressurized stuff gets more pressure. So back at home when my tires are at 12 PSI, come up here, they're at 16 PSI. So I was sliding around everywhere. The track's right now pretty good. I was only second practice, so it was nice and smooth still. Um, there's just the one section of the uh, those rollers or whoops or whatever you want to call them. They're like, it's like a double, double onto a tabletop and then off the tabletop into the rollers. I guess that's how the inside line's supposed to go, and that was sketching me out a little bit, just the roller before, because I wasn't set, I couldn't get set up right, or I didn't feel like I was set up right, so I think I gotta go through it and just kinda roll it, and then almost seat bounce that first thing to get up over it, and uh, hopefully I don't <laughs> eat it. I didn't do it at all during the like, five or six laps of practice I had, so there's that. I'm fairly certain I won't finish last at least, so there's that too. And we're just gonna have some fun, I guess. I mean, that's all I really can do, I mean. <laughs> but nice, the bike looks good. I feel relatively good, so can't complain, really. I'm only in here because it's kind of loud. We're in a valley and it echoes, so. Maybe I'll get some footage of some guys riding. I did find Travis. Travis is here, so I get to watch him race at least. He's racing open sea fast as hell, too. <laughs> so, I guess there's that. I didn't see really anyone else I knew as far as like uh, people or riders, so I'm gonna, I'll keep an eye out, but for now we're just going to hang out and watch, I guess. pretty good he almost got the whole shot he got second so he transfers into the main division two just took off and man I'm glad I'm not racing that class <laughs> and yes there are e-riders in my class but it's a lot of kids two divisions gate number 12 uh, 330 and your transponder's dead too I seven gate number seven okay we'll bring you one head on out
They are thick in the lappers now. So Ashburn holds third. Looks like Jake Blaine gonna move up to fourth. And Pennington will drop down to round out the top four. Well, we did our first race. Good news is, I can't do any worse. Well, I could, but not much. Out of 41 riders, I finished 38. Turns out 25 plus, uh, 25 plus ABC. There's a lot of A, B, and some C. All those guys are, all those guys are on it. I mean, I got a crap start. I left the gate, and the guy to the right just got a great jump, and then I just got pushed wide. It almost ran into the back of someone, and then I just turned and kind of keep going. And I don't know, I'm all over the place over there. The rocks, there's a bunch of rocks in these corners that are. So slick to go over, and then that roller section, I cannot get it down. I mean, it's just so sketchy now because there's like ruts in the whole thing. I should have done it in practice, but I chickened out. Yeah, 38th. But on the good news is, I just took my bike over to the Honda tent, and um, they helped me set my sag and all that. And turns out, my sag was dead on where it needed to be. 108. Like, is right where it needs to be. Uh, we adjusted some clickers to see if that helps any, like, freed it up a little bit, so. We'll try again in this next race and see how it works, but I can't use the excuse of the bike's the problem. I just suck, pretty much. <laughs> but we watched the pro race, or one of the pro race races, and, and now we're gonna go hang out, go talk to Travis, and uh, yeah, just chill out a little bit. Soil bucks, you can definitely use that if you're racing, driving. You got a boat, they got gun oil, they've got all kinds of stuff. You want to keep things, and we have got that board sideways, and the gate is down. Let's see who's going to grab the first Lucas Oil hole shot. Looks like Dustin Pulliam trying to work on the 60.
Good for the 903 Travis That wheel power is not good as a wheel power. Whole shot award winner. 217. He knows who he is. So come on up whenever you're ready, my friend. We'll wheel that bike right on up here. Once Thomas gets finished with his. Taking the bike over to the Honda and having uh, Joe, and I didn't get the other guy's name, but they definitely helped out, and it felt better. As far as like the bike felt a little more planted, and I didn't feel like I was like bouncing everywhere. I mean, the track was still rough and, st and like that, but definitely felt a little better, I think. I now can't complain that the bike isn't set up right. I mean, the sag set right where it needs to be 108, 107 in that area, so that's all right, but I just gotta get used to it, I guess, I don't know. Either way, it's still a decent day of riding. I could have done better. If I wanted to risk a little more, I could have jumped that roller section and made it a couple passes. I could have pushed a little harder in the first moto to uh, hold off that one dude. Still, I think it's 38-32 for a 36th overall. It wasn't bad. I mean, I could probably do better. I have a long ways to go if I want to do better. Than that um, it was such a bummer for Travis he had a solid third place finish solid he's running third and his chain derailed now I gotta go find Mario wherever he may be because I don't know where they went they're here somewhere I gotta find them and figure out where I'm gonna stay tonight so we can go watch them race tomorrow. So for today, not bad. I mean, I accomplished my two goals. Uh, the goal of not falling and the uh, other goal of not finishing last. So I did those. So now we just got to uh, come back and play tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. We're going to figure out what all that here. Uh, so instead of going finding Mario, they're gonna come to me. Cause I don't know where they are. <laughs> Actually, he sent me the address, but then they called me and said, yeah, just meet me here. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. So update, <laughs> we are in line to get in, it's just before 4 o'clock, and they left me alone in the truck, because Mario forgot his gear bag back at the room, apartment, 
condo, whatever you want to call it. And the guy that was telling us where to park, or where to line up, just let him take his van, just go get the gear bag and come back. That's pretty cool. What's not cool is how many people are here at 3.45 in the morning. Like, because it gets the three rows that go through, and after that they line them up one row at a time. And I think we're in that second row. Like, they cut it off and they line up through. I don't know. So, there's a chance we might not even get in. Which is crazy stupid. But... I don't know. Because yesterday we had the same amount of cars and the whole right side was wide open, so I guess we'll find out when we get in there. It's still pretty cool that they let him try his they he's like he came up to one you trustworthy? Yeah. Take my van. He's like, no way. So we grabbed his van and it's literally five minutes, not even five minutes down the road. Like, Mario was going to walk over there. And I was going to have him drive, his, drive my truck back just to, so he doesn't have to carry it back, but that's crazy. Still some good people out there. Well, we made it in at least. So that's good. And now we just have to go out the rest of the day, I guess. We didn't eat yet, so I got to find food. And it's stupid how early people get in line there are a lot of them were half of them were there before midnight apparently so just to get parking so it's like if you want to get a somewhat decent spot or just get into the event here you have to be in line before three o'clock at least to get in Anytime after that, it's a crapshoot if you're going to get in or not. So, let's, I guess, go find out what's going on, I guess. I haven't gotten out of the truck yet because it's cold outside. And they didn't need my help in loading. <laughs> Today, I'm just watching. So, I got nothing better to do but just to sit around and chill. That's about it. <laughs> Oh, really? No back brake. My back brake's gone. One, two, three, four, five, he's fifth. fell back. We had, tr we had trouble with uh, no back brakes, so that didn't help any there either. We're trying to see if we can get it fixed now. So they took us back over to Honda, the rider support tent, to see if they can get the brake fixed. He didn't really use it a whole lot. He said he screwed up one section on the whoops or the rollers, and that's what screwed him up a little bit. Still, 19th out of 33 is pretty damn good for us, so. We still gotta go into the LCQ, and there's only seven out of there, so. Him making the mains probably not going to be the best, <laughs> but he did way better than any of us would have, so.
champion. Watch that card go sideways. Here we go. The gate is down. Let's watch him charge to the top of the hill. He will get the whole shot. And he does. Linda makes a pass into the lead down the switchback section. Last signal was third down the hill, 246. of really signed his junior four. 181. Top five coming down the hill, first time through. So he is working the way through the news rhythm section on the right side. a day or so um, Mario didn't make it into a main and we left shortly after his semi uh, only to come back to the apartment and pretty much sleep for a couple hours we wanted to go do that uh, that pit bike race they have at the village got there about a half hour late to see anything yeah by the time we got there the race was already over cool to sit around and, and just kind of watch the band and kind of hang out <laughs> <laughs> and then came back, chilled out in the apartment for the rest of the night, and now it's the next morning, and we are gonna go home. <laughs> so yeah, as far as this man's trip goes, not bad. I'm a little disappointed in my results, but I'm also not that disappointed because I was also racing against two groups that were much faster than me with the A and B, a and B riders that were in the race. So I didn't wasn't sure what to expect. Now I know what to expect and I'm not nearly good enough, but it is what it is. Still had a, a decent time, it was fun. Yeah, I didn't crash, stayed on two wheels, I finished, and I guess that's all I could really ask for. I did get a cool photo that you'll see up on the my Instagram, and I got and I got a little finalist pin because I was because I had two moto uh, two moto formats, so I technically made the main. 
or the final. So I got a pin for that too, which is kind of neat. Of course, she handed it to me as I was pulling up to the gate, and since I was there solo, I had no one to give it to. <laughs> so I literally just tucked it in my pants and it rode with me throughout that last moto, so. <laughs> but we are on our way home now. It's a decent trip. Longer, I stayed here longer than I was really planning on. You know, I could have went home after my race on Friday, but I stayed for Saturday to watch Mario and hung out with them the rest of the day. Rest of the weekend, really. It's Sunday now, we're headed home. It's actually 10 a.m. right now, so we're going home now. They're gonna go off and do some fishing or something like that. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna edit this video and the race videos and just chillax at home, I guess. So if you guys haven't noticed, the last couple of videos, I've actually added a new logo to the end of my page, or end of my videos, the end screen. It is a Patreon link. Yes, I made a Patreon. Mainly because it's expensive. And I've gotten to a point where I need to make a decision as far as paying to live, just stuff to live, and then going racing. I can't do both all the time. Um, it's actually been getting more and more difficult to get to the races and stuff like that, especially this trip. This trip was even, was probably the hardest one I've done. And the only reason I really stuck it out and came to the race was because I already paid for the entry fee and a lot. If I didn't pay for the entry fee and I was just gonna come up here, I probably wouldn't have because, I probably wouldn't have been able to make it. Um, I'm still, we'll, we'll see if I can make it home and then make it to work tomorrow. So, I mean, other than that, it's like, yeah, it's kind of where, like, either I live or I race. And live, I mean, like, take care of bills and, and get into work and stuff and that, or I go race. That's that's the, the decision I have to make. Do I really want to make that decision? No. Do I want to do both? Yes, of course. Am I going to still try to do both? Of course, yeah. But it also is, has been getting harder the last couple of years, especially with the races I'm going to that are further away now. Their entry fees are way more than they were before. You know, before they were, it was only a couple, you know, like 50 bucks. Now, since like Mammoth, is $100. Supercross Features, $100. So it's, it is definitely getting harder. Um, and then like with going to like the tracks and stuff like that that are further away, it's just more in gas, more in everything so if you guys want check out the patreon link see if you want if you want to help out you can I'm, I, I don't want the patreon really if I could do it on my own I would um, I'd love to I, that's what I've been trying to do this entire time but it definitely isn't easy and if you guys want to support me and make sure these videos keep coming out like this and keep us on the track and riding and stuff and racing there you go. There's your chance to. Here's your chance to help me out and, and support and make sure these videos keep coming out. And there are some cool perks about it. Um, I haven't really gotten much. I don't really have any ideas. At least uh, the first couple are just a. The first one's obviously just a simple. You know, if you want to support, support. It's dollar, dollar tier. Uh, the next tier up, I believe, is a calendar. So each month you'll get a updated calendar of what track I'll be riding at, when and where, um, or what race I'll be intending. Most of them are just races. It's all the stuff I'll be going to that month. Um, like this trip was on there, obviously. Uh, the days I'll be at the track, at least. And then same thing with other events in that nature, I guess. Um, that's all going to be on there. Practice days usually aren't, as far as I can tell, because I'm not very good at planning ahead as far as what practice days I'm going to. Uh, like, last couple weeks, last couple practices we did, spur of the moment was going to Sunrise, and kind of the same thing going to Paris. So I think that's a little up in the air as far as when I'm going there. So, uh, the next couple tiers up are the monthly sticker guys, which I have some here. Being each month you'll get a sticker. Each one being different. Hopefully I can be creative enough to come up with one each month. 
But that is that tier. There's another tier up there for uh, shout outs in the description of my videos and in the credits of my videos. And if you really, really want, I think the top level tier is what I call a sponsorship tier. Um, basically, you get your name on my bike somewhere. I still have to figure out where, but it will be on there for as long as you're a patron, I guess. Other than that, that's as far as I can think of. But if you guys feel like it, if you guys are up for it, if you want to help out, if you want to support me and this channel, check it out. Can't hurt. And I guess that's it. So from Mammoth Lakes, I guess, just outside Mammoth, because now we are down the road a little bit. There's an airport over here somewhere. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more and follow along, whatever adventures I end up going on, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.